You may think so, sister. Brother Abu Bakr, our community has been very tolerant and accepting of others. Religion has never been a barrier to social relationships amongst us. Must you abandon our tradition of tolerance and acceptance for the religion of Muhammad? But if you want, I will let Jubair join your religion for the sake of his happiness, brother. That is not all, brother. The Apostle of God wants to marry Aisha. I can't reject his command. I'm really sorry. Muhammad wants to marry Aisha? He is an old man, 50 years old, and your daughter is only six. How can you even agree to such a marriage? You are destroying your daughter's life, brother Abu Bakr. I'm helpless, brother. He is the prophet of God. God has chosen this marriage. The privilege Allah has bestowed upon his beloved apostle must be fulfilled. I'm really sorry, brother. Let it go, my son. I will find a more beautiful princess for you. Sauda, where are you? I have great news. What is wrong with you, Sauda? Has a relative of yours died? Why weep over a kafir's death? One enemy less for Allah. I know your good news. I thought I'm the only one you love. Sauda, I married you only because you have none among the believers to look after you, and none of my disciples has means to marry and support you. God's mission must succeed. For that, nothing is more important than my marriage to Aisha. I've lost your love. Now I'm only worried about what the future holds for me. We will see to it as it come. For now, be sure to treat my little Aisha well. She is most important to me. And be sure to be present at the solemnization of the marriage tomorrow. <laughs> I have no time for this. I will have to go. Give the good news to the believers. <laughs> Today is the best day of my life. Sauda, where is the new set of cloth I bought for today? Here it is, Apostle. I've kept it nice for your big day. Wow, I have never looked so great. Go, Sauda, rush to my new in-law's house. I will be there soon. I must look like the most handsome groom for the most beautiful bride in the world. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, it feels great. I'm ready to go. Oh, Apostle, it's time. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, Apostle. I understand your pain, Sister Sauda. Allah has put our life and livelihood at the mercy of our husbands. We have to make sacrifices for their success. Thank you for your kindness, Sister. Let's get Aisha ready. The Prophet will be here soon. Come, my darling. We don't have time. Come quick. No, Mom, no. I want to play with my friends. Come, my darling. We don't have time. Quick. Mom, why so many people are in our house today? Why am I being dressed up? Don't know, my darling. You will see. I hope God will protect you. <laughs> What's wrong, Mom? Why are you crying? Don't worry, Aisha. It is the biggest day of your life. You're the luckiest girl in the world. Oh, Brother Abu Bakr, we are here. See how handsome our groom looks. They are here. The groom is here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You were my bosom friend. Then you became my apostle and savior. Now you are my son-in-law. Nobody will be as dear to me as you. Same here, my friend. You will be my dearest, my right hand, Dad. Come on in, everybody. Oh, Wum um Abdullah, are you ready? Yes, my husband, we are coming. What's happening, Mom? Where are you taking me to? Don't worry, my little darling. Everything will be all right. We will always protect you. Don't worry about her. She is just a little child. My wife, let's get started. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Praise to Allah, merciful to the believers, who has made us the best among the people of the world. Muhammad, the Apostle of God, the greatest man ever, has sought the hand of Aisha, daughter of Abu Bakr. Bear witness, O oh believer brothers, I am happy to offer my daughter Aisha's hand to the Apostle of Allah, the loftiest man ever. 
Since Allah has chosen Aisha to be the Prophet's wife, let this marriage be most fruitful for the Apostle's mission. Oh, wow! Whoa, great! Wow. Congratulations! Great. Congratulations. Wow. Let's have some sweets and celebrate this glorious occasion. You are the most beautiful girl in the world, Aisha. Today is my happiest day. You will be my most beloved wife. Let's go to the Kaaba, my friends. I will have to give thanksgiving to Allah for blessing me with this glorious marriage. Okay, let's go! Okay, my sweetheart, stay with Mama. I will come back in the evening to see you. Oh, Muhammad, what is the matter with you? You and your brothers look delighted today. I have come to give thanksgiving to Allah, my Lord of the Kaaba. Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving for what? That's none of your business. Let's go express our gratitude to the Lord for his bounty upon us. What a shame! What a shame! What a disgrace! Muhammad, what kind of disgraceful prophet of God you are? How can you at 50 marry a six-year-old child? It's Allah who has chosen Aisha for me. Allah has chosen a six-year-old child for you, stinky old man. My foot, you have become a lecher. You, enemy of Allah, may Allah strike you with thunder. Oh, Abu Bakr, we've always treated you with respect. How can you destroy your little daughter's life in this manner? How can you agree to such a marriage? Ignore these enemies of Allah. Stay fast in Allah's cause. He will give us victory and make us rulers in the world. Then, these enemies of Allah will pay a heavy price for their arrogance and abuse. Oh, Abu Bakr, we have always regarded you highly for your kindness and generosity. Your brothers also call you Asadik, the true one. How can you become so greedy beyond all limits after falling into the trap of this fake prophet? Haven't you called Muhammad Al-Amin the trustworthy? Yes, we did. So, it is you who have forsaken your judgment and conscience. I trust Muhammad as before. My prophet will never lie. My nephew Muhammad was such a nice boy. After falling in the grip of this devil whom he calls Allah, he has degenerated beyond redemption. He has lost all sense of morality. You believe in the false morality of your false idols. My God is the true God. My God's morality cannot be the same as yours. My mood has been spoiled by these enemies of Allah. Let's go, my friends. Mom, what's happening today? What was happening in the morning? I feel scared, Mom. Don't worry, my loving daughter. We will always protect you. Everything will be all right. Oh, Abu Bakr, my brother. Here I come. Come on in, my friend. Your mother-in-law and niece are waiting for you. He is here. Don't worry, my little child. Be strong. Be strong. What is happening, Mom? Who is here? Why are you scared of me, my little sweetheart? You have to live your whole life with me. Mom, Mom, I'm scared. Don't be scared, my little darling. He is your husband. He will protect you. Husband? What? You will understand when you grow up. Aisha, you are still playing with dolls? You are the wife of the Apostle of God. God hates dolls. She's only a little child, Apostle. Okay, Aisha. You can play with dolls until you reach puberty. After that, no more playing with dolls. Let me go, Aisha. You spend your precious first night with your husband. Mom, please don't leave me alone. I want to go with you. Sorry, my darling. I can't stay with you. You are now the prophet's wife. You must sleep with him. I'm afraid, Mom. I'm scared. Please take me with you. Sorry, my girl. Your destiny has been written. She is a little child apostle. Be gentle with her. I'm the apostle of God. You don't have to teach me this. I know how to deal with a little child. Don't worry, my little wife. I will be gentle with you. I will not hurt you. Mom, Dad, don't leave me alone. My husband, how will our little girl take it? Don't worry, my wife. Allah has chosen this marriage. He will guide the apostle to deal with her justly. Come on, my love. Don't be scared. I will be very gentle with you. Uncle? What are you doing, uncle? Why are you removing my clothes? I'm not your uncle anymore, Aisha. I'm your husband. Please, uncle, please. Don't worry, my little wife. I will be very gentle with you. What are you doing, uncle? What are you doing? <coughs> oh, shit. It seems you are not ready for it, my little darling. Never mind. 
Just open your thighs. Open your thighs. My thighs? Why, Uncle? Why? Come on, just do it. What are you doing, Uncle? What are you doing? Please stop. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, you're the best, Aisha. I love it. Best what, Uncle? What did you just do to me? <sighs> Don't worry about that, little girl. I'm so scared, Uncle. Until you reach puberty, I will enjoy it in this manner, using your thighs. I will never hurt you. Oh god, I'm late. I have urgent things to do. Mom, Dad, I'm going now. I will come back in the evening. Where's my little darling? I hope she is fine. Come on, wake up, my little child. Hope you're all right. Where did you go for the whole night, Mom? Don't know what Uncle was doing with me. I was in pain. I was so scared. I'm so scared Don't of him. Don't worry, my darling. I will never leave you alone again. As for his religious mission, good news came during the next Hajj season. Those six Medina converts came with six more men to pledge allegiance to Muhammad. But they failed to show courage for taking up arms to protect him and give him refuge in Medina as requested by him. So, their pledge on this occasion became known as the Pledge of Women. Muhammad sent with them a Meccan disciple, well versed in his creed, for instructing them in religious matters. This turned out a huge boon. During the next Hajj, 76 Medina residents came and pledged allegiance to Muhammad. This time, they even pledged to take up arms to protect Muhammad with their life, like they would protect their women. Muhammad had been waiting long for this opportunity. He immediately ordered his followers to migrate to Medina. Almost all of them migrated over the next two to three months. <laughs> 